Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David N. Ark. Today we're taking a look at a mod called the Brokel Big Grand. That's right, it is a giant sized Legrand, but you can't really tell just spawning it into the open, simple map here, simple grid. So let's spawn in a regular sized Legrand and there we go. <laughs> it's, that's a regular sized Legrand that comes with the game compared to the big one. Oh my gosh, that is so huge. Oh man, look at the, well, you got plenty of trunk space, but that is just, it's such a massive, massive car. Okay. Well, um, all right. That didn't work. I can steer. I can't drive or anything. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this thing work. It's definitely got some kind of weird glitch or something. Okay, so I finally, took me a little while, but I got it figured out. So if you go into the vehicle config and you expand body, uh, go down here to the engine and um, then expand the engine. And in the transmission, you have to select the five-speed manual transmission. You want to make sure that uh, that is what's selected. Now, there's some other stuff you can also do. Like you can change out some of this, uh, like the long block and that kind of stuff. So some of that may come into play, but definitely the five-speed transmission. Uh, so you want to make sure that you check that out. And now, as you can see over on the right-hand side, the engine is actually running. And we should be able to get rolling. Let's hit it. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. This is, not, this is not working. There we go. Oh, holy cow. That takes a lot to get started. And, of course, we stall out. All right. Um... I, what is oh my gosh I don't I don't understand what's happening here I mean it tries to start and then as soon as I try to like shift gears I okay here we go here we go all right that's it all right so we have the uh, the uh, the the little or grand just kind of ran off on its own so I've got it in here I, I, we got to try this I want to see what happens if we take the little or grand and we just I don't know, drive up alongside the other one or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll try running under the car. I, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is just... Oh, hey, hey, hey. That was my bumper, man. Or something. I'll be honest. I'm not even sure what part that was. Oh, look at just... Look at the size comparison. Oh, hey, hey. You're running on my freaking trunk there, dude. Chill out. Oh, that is so crazy. All right, so I wonder if I can just, like, ride under the Legrand, uh, under the big one. Um, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let, let's do this. Um, let me go in here and get the, um, how about the Bolide? Because, you know, it's it's small, low to the ground. It's got that wedge thing going. We'll do the GTR. There we go. All right, so let's put in the GTR and see what happens if we um, run the, the bolide under I don't know I think I need to uh, get kind of a running start oh my gosh I cannot control this car okay come on come on come on come on all right here we go let's take this bad boy bolide and run it underneath how far can we go all the way well um hello no <laughs> look at that <laughs> Holy cow, we are we're kind of squished under the granddaddy oh my Okay, so here's an idea. How about we take the giant Legrand and we throw it down the ski jump? Oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. This whole thing moves like it's in slow motion. Look how big this is compared to the ski jump track. Oh my gosh, man. I, that is crazy how big this car is. Oh my gosh, man. All right, let's see. Can we land on all fours? Oh, well, yes, technically we landed on all fours, but uh, we're uh, a little squished, man. Oh my gosh, that is so, so insane. Holy cow. Okay, so I say we try this again. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Man, 
there's this now i will say this is an experimental mod so there's definitely going to be some issues and and i'm sure those will get worked out eventually um but oh, i just i can't get over how big this car is compared to the size of the ski jump itself and i mean we can just fly on down and call it good holy cow we just ripped off the side of our vehicle <laughs> That's okay. We, we don't need all those parts. We'll just fly and we land here at, wham, like 145 meters or something. And we are a ball of m twisted metal. What's up with the engine? Whoa. Uh, hi. And the engine rises up to greet you. How's it going? I don't understand why the engine's doing that. That's very weird. Okay. So I want to try... Come on. Oh my gosh, I can't get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. There we go, okay. Holy cow. All right, one more time here. Let's just see what happens if we send this puppy over the edge going slow down. Uh, like I said, though, oh wait, there we go. Oh, how about from the driver cam? There we go. Let's get in the front seat. Watch what happens. Okay, we're... Oh, 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 we're going to fall off the edge. No, no, we're not. What is going on? Oh, we are stuck. Wow, we're definitely stuck. Oh! Crash into the pole, and down, down, down we go. Bam! Oh, my gosh, that is crazy. All right, so I figured since things went well with the ski jump... Why not throw it on the car jump arena? So that's right, the giant freaking Legrand on the ski jump. Look how massive this car is. It's just so crazy. Uh, I mean, I know, like, the Belez is big, and, you know, you got, like, the Star Wars vehicle that's huge, but this is a massive sedan, and it does not do well landing. Whoa, we got banding we got twisted pieces parts that crazy engine just sticking up there i don't know man that's that's nuts oh okay well that's not gonna work <laughs> i forgot to reset the home position yeah by the way when you spawn this thing uh it's a little funky so uh it, it gets a little weird when you're trying to spawn it so let's see if i can respawn it over here oh wow that's not pretty all right so, can we go? All right, here we go. From the driver's seat. Now, what, what is going on here? Wait, oh, come on, crazy camera. Okay, what what's happening here? Let me... Oh, my tire is stuck in the road. All right, let's try this. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, can we go? Uh, there we go. Well, it's a lot like the Belez that way. You know, sometimes when you spawn the, the Belez into certain maps, the, the tires are actually inside the ground. So, I guess that's what's happening with this one. I'll just have to kind of pay attention to that. In the meantime, here we go, flying off the jump. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Yeah, buddy! Oh, crash time! And off we go, and, uh, whoops, okay. Well, um... Not sure. I guess we grabbed onto that pole right there. Come on, camera. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's not good. We got the engine wrapped around the pole. Wow. Not too pretty, is she? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, maybe if I, there we go. All right, so the trick seems to be that if I hit insert to kind of reset it, and then before it has a chance to figure out what's going on, I can push the gas and get it rolling. Look how big, just look how big this car is on the car jump arena. Holy cow. Okay, I'm hoping that the person who made this mod will do this for like every other vehicle could you imagine the bus being this size uh, in the in the description um the author said that basically they took all the settings and ramped them up times four and this is what the result was uh, that is just crazy okay okay so we have the big one in the pool so let me uh just 
bear with me here a minute. We're going to fly back up to the top, and um, uh, when we get up there, I am going to spawn in the regular-sized Legrand and drive it down, and I'm going to see if I can uh, get it to go under the mega-sized one in the water, and that way it'll be sitting there, you know, like we'll, we'll have both we can compare to. I, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try. We're going to try it anyway, see what happens. So we're going to take the regular size Legrand, which look how small this vehicle looks compared to the other one. I mean, I know it is, I mean, but this is the regular size Legrand, and now it just seems so tiny and out of place after playing with the uh, giant size Legrand. That's, oh, just so, so crazy the size difference and and not just the size difference but the whole play is is different oh hey, hey there we go look at that much better landing than its giant sized buddy okay so let's see can i get into the water well i'm yeah okay that'll work oh and there we go look at that the tiny little legrand compared to the big one pretty sure i could put the small one in the trunk and call it good <laughs> okay I came up with a different idea. What if we just drop this thing? <laughs> for... Oh, just... Oh. I think what I like most about the fact that um, it's so big is that it completely, just, I mean, completely enhances the experience of doing things like this because everything is so exaggerated. So, so cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. Okay, so... Since we're going to be dropping stuff, how about if we drop the Legrand into the pool? Oh, okay. Um, well, that that's that's not that's not good. All right, here we go. We're going to try this again. This time, I'm um, I'm at the pool's surface, and we're gonna look. This is full speed, real time, and look how slow that is. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna slow this down. Here we go. Come on, let's do a hundred times. That's the maximum we can slow it down. And we're going to come around here, and I know this is really, really slow, but I want to see what is happening when the vehicle hits the water. Because, I mean, that's just, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, again, because the car is so big, everything is so exaggerated, that is so, oh, oh, oh. okay, well, we see what happens there. The game wigs out. All right. Okay, I got I got one more thing I want to try. I figure we go back to the good old tried and true cliff, which is normally just a complete car destroyer in the game. So what happens when you put in a giant sized vehicle against the cliff? It's so funny. I mean, it barely even looks like a hill compared to this car. There we go, sliding down the mountain or not okay we're kind of wedged in there all right so let's just try this again i'm gonna go backwards down the mountain oh yeah yeah this should work way better there we go nice open area sliding on down what's funny is this actually seems to be more to scale really <laughs> i mean that, that was a nice little trench that we drove through however our vehicle is completely flattened except for the engine bouncing all over the place oh that this uh, seriously this mod is so so cool I, I just oh my gosh it's so awesome check that out man oh that is so cool oh i had an idea so now that it's giant size why don't we look around inside the car? I mean, look at the detail. I love the auto reverse cassette. That's great. But I mean, look at the detail on the vents, on the vent selectors. What? 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 Why do we have six window controls? I mean, I'm sure two are supposed to be doors and the other four are supposed to be windows, but they all have the window icon. That's kind of weird. Anyway, wow. <laughs> this is a huge huge vehicle oh that is so so cool hey let's take a look at the engine oh well there's the radiator oh look at that I, I mean this really really makes you appreciate the attention to detail the amount of detail that is you know in the game just in the graphics in the artwork oh 
That's just so, so cool. Oh, that is cool. All right, so there you go. That is the Giant Legrand. Again, it's experimental, so, you know, your mileage may vary, but that is awesome. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on BMNG Drive.